welcome. On this Saturday, the 29th week in Ordinary Time, the church celebrates the memorial of St. Anthony Mary Claret Bishop. Our presider today is Father Ben. To you I call, for you will surely heed me, O Lord. Turn your ear to me, hear my words, guard me as the apple of your eye. In the shadow of your wings, protect me. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Today, as you heard, we celebrate the memorial of St. Anthony Mary Claret. Died 1870. He was a vigorous reforming bishop of Santiago in Cuba. He founded in 1849 the missionary sons of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, called the Claritians. Today, numbering about 3,000 members, he fostered credit unions and the apostolate of the press. So we ask the Lord now, yes, we to call on him to forgive whatever sins you and I may have committed. You were sent to heal the contrite. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, mercy. have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who for the evangelization of peoples strengthened the bishops and Anthony Marie Claret with admirable charity and long suffering, grant through his intercession that seeking the things that are yours we may earnestly devote ourselves to winning our brothers and sisters for Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, grace was given to each of us according to the measure of Christ's gift. Therefore, it says, he ascended on high and took prisoners captive. He gave gifts to men. What does he ascended mean except that he also descended into the lower regions of the earth? The one who descended is also the one who ascended far above all the heavens that he might fill all things. And he gave some as apostles, others as prophets, others as evangelists, others as pastors and teachers to equip the holy ones for the work of ministry, for building up the body of Christ until we attain to the unity of faith and knowledge of the Son of God <coughs> to mature manhood to the extent of the full stature of Christ so that we may no longer be infants tossed by waves and swept along by every wind of teaching arising from human trickery, 
from their cunning in the interests of deceitful scheming, rather living the truth in love. We should grow in every way into him who is the head, Christ, from whom the whole body, joined and held together by every supporting ligament with the proper functioning of each part, brings about the body's growth and builds itself up in love. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. God. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. I rejoice because they said to me, we will go up to the house of the Lord, and now we have set foot within your gates, O Jerusalem. Let Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Jerusalem, built as a city with compact unity, To it the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord. Let Let us us go rejoicing rejoicing to to the the house of the the Lord. Lord. According to the decree for Israel, to give thanks to the name of the Lord, in it are set up judgment seats, seats for the house of David. Let Let us us go rejoicing rejoicing to to the the house house of of the the Lord. Lord. Blessing. May the Lord be in your heart and on your lips that you may worthily proclaim his good news in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia. 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 Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. I take no pleasure in the death of the wicked man, says the Lord, but rather in his conversion that he may live. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And And with with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory Glory to you, O Lord. Lord. Some people told Jesus about the Galileans whose blood Pilate had mingled with the blood of their sacrifices. He said to them in reply, Do you think that because these Galileans suffered in this way, they were greater sinners than all other Galileans? By no means. But I tell you, if you do not repent, you will all perish as they did. Or those 18 people who were killed when the Tower of Siloam fell on them, do you think they were more guilty than everyone else who lived in Jerusalem? By no means. But I tell you, if you do not repent, you will all perish as they did. And he told them this parable. There once was a person who had a fig tree planted in his orchard. And when he came in search of fruit on it, but found none, he said to the gardener, For three years now I have come in search of fruit on this fig tree, but have found none. So cut it down. Why should it exhaust the soil? He said to him in reply, Sir, leave it for this year also, and I will cultivate the ground around it and fertilize it. It may bear fruit in the future. If not, you can cut it down. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise 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 to you, Lord Lord Jesus Jesus Christ. Christ.
Today I share with you reflections written by Father Eugene Hensel uh, Benedictine. He reflects on this gospel. Today's gospel consists of two parts. Luke 13, 1 to 5 is a call to repentance by Jesus. Luke 13, 6 to 9 presents a parable about a barren fig tree emphasizing the contrast between God's patience and the people's slow response to the call for repentance. Jesus' call to conversion makes very clear that the need for repentance includes everyone. Jesus warns against linking disasters, natural or human, to sin. Tragedies that result in loss of life and property are not the direct result of pe people's sinfulness. And we often hear that, why is it good people are sick? Bad people should be sick, you see. We really are saying that that's the way, the way God should work. That be vengeful toward the, the bad people, but the good people, not for them to experience any tragedy. Sinners will be held accountable by God regardless of how pronounced their sinfulness might be. No one will be exempt from God's judgment. No one is exempt from the need to embrace repentance. Because the call to repentance is universal. Jesus tells a parable emphasizing the patience of God. The story focuses on a fig tree that has failed for three years to produce figs. The vineyard owner reasonably concludes that this barren tree deserves to be cut down. The, the gardener, however, pleads for a one-year extension for the fig tree. If it still produces nothing, then it shall be cut down. It may bear fruit in the future, or it may not. Clearly, this is the fig tree's final chance. In this parable, the vineyard owner, owner represents the wisdom of the world, the wisdom of the world demands that this fig tree be uprooted and thrown into the fire. God is the gardener. You see, that's what I find interesting. Uh, the, the, own, the vineyard owner is not God. It's the world that says, well, this free fig tree doesn't produce any fruit. Let's get rid of him. But the gardener says, and, and Jesus uses this parable to say, God the Father is the gardener who says uh, no to the wisdom of the world. God is a patient God, and he gives us another opportunity to repent and to undergo conversion. Yes, our God is an awesome God. St. Paul reminds us that we are loved by God and chosen in Christ from before we were born, and so we have the confidence to play our needs and prayers before God, from whom we receive all that is good. For the church, that we may continue to recognize God's work in the world today and point to God as the ultimate source of all that we have. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. For our elected leaders, that they may be ever cognizant of the privilege they have to hold their positions of power, and that they exercise that privilege for the benefit of all whom they serve. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. For missionaries around the world, that their efforts may yield an abundant harvest as they bear witness to God's love and mercy. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For the vulnerable, especially children and teens who suffer abuse 
exploitation, or worse, that they may receive the help and hope they need. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the sick and those who care for them, that they know the compassionate love of Jesus, especially Joanne Schlemmer, Gabby Short, Tammy Wilson, Brendan Mills, Alice Dernan Cassidy, Deacon Rick Pomfrey, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all who have died, especially Kirby Mangini, Michelle Anderson, Maria Guadalupe Avalos, and all victims of war and violence, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. And for the petitions written in our book of petitions and all the intentions we hold faithfully in our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. God of abundance, all that we have can be traced back to you and is only ours for the length of our lives. Grant us the grace to appreciate this and increase our willingness to share your blessings with those in need. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, <clears throat> God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread. We offer you fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be Blessed God. Blessed be God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be, be God, God forever. forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, Lord. And may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the, may the Lord, Lord accept, accept the sacrifice, sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our, our good, good and the good of, and all, good of all his, his holy church. Look upon this, the sacrificial, sacrificial gifts we offer, Almighty God, on the feast day of blessed Anthony Mary Claret and grant that we who celebrate the mysteries of the Lord's passion, may imitate what we now do through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We, we lift them up, up to, the, to Lord. the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord <clears throat> our God. It, it is, is right and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Anthony Mary Claret, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so, with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. 
make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like they do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it. For this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples as saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim, proclaim your, your death, 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 O Lord. Lord. And, and, and profess, profess your, your resurrection, resurrection until, until you come, come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Robert, our Bishop, and all the clergy, remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Anthony Mary Claret, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and, and the glory are yours, now and, and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you. My peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace.
Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the, the sins, sins of the world. world. Have, Have mercy, mercy on us. us. Lamb, Lamb of God, God you, you take, take away, away the sins, sins of the world. world. Have, Have mercy on us. On us. Lamb, Lamb of God, you, you take, take away the sins, sins of the world. world. Grant, Grant us peace. peace. Your death gave life to the world. Free me by this, your most holy body and blood from all my sins and from every evil. Keep me always faithful to your commandments and never let me be part. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am not, not worthy that you, that you should, should enter, enter under, under my roof, but, but only say, say the word, and, and my soul shall be healed. The Son of Man has come to give his life as a ransom for many. an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Let us pray. By the power of this mystery, O Lord, confirm your servants in the true faith that they may everywhere profess in word and deed, the faith for which blessed Anthony Mary Claret never ceased to labor and for which he spent his whole life through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, and your, with spirit. your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God.